Hello everybody, Razbin is my name. Welcome back to the Gothic 2 Live Edition Hardcore. In today's episode we are going to visit the Leicester Valley and get the quest from him to get, go, get into the city on the right way to earn the most experience. We are going to go to the bandits first, where the bandits were before, because Cavalier killed them for us. We are going to sleep there, because it's getting dark. And then we will go into the valley and kill all the monsters. We can try and see if we can kill, kill the wolves. We need one level. I don't think we can hit them from far. Oh, I saved on the wrong spot. Yep. We can notice that the bow is not great anymore. We might have to run, but... I want to see how much... Okay, we have to run. I want to see how much HP are we going to take with one hit. So the bow is not great at all and... The oh, they are dodging. They are good at dodging. Okay, we cannot kill them. Not yet. Probably with the next bow, when we get extra dexterity. So, one on one we can take them on melee also. Not the bow, I believe the bow is not worth it because it's going to take too much arrows. Too many arrows. Probably two or three even, and that's 15 gold per kill in the beginning. That's quite harsh. So it's 18 o'clock, we have to sleep because at 20, 30 in Gothic it's going to be night time. So fresh bed, luckily we can sleep here. We are going also to go in the cave near the Xardas. We need to sleep at least two more hours, that's enough two more hours. And you can see how weak we are in this version, even though we have some armor. We are going to give the armor to, to Greg, for sure. We need the experience and to get him into the city. As I said, we are going to try to get as much experience as possible, doing the right things and not cheating. We can get in the back here and get, I believe, a scroll or something, but with the aggro distance from the monsters, we might lure the, uh, what's their names, the lizards. Oh, and uh, we will talk with Kavler once we give the letter to Vatras. I didn't want to do anything in the city. I just w wanted to get uh, to learn to skin animals, take the meat and get into the city. We could kill the ship, but let's... Oh, I heard something. All oh, right, that's, that's the goblin from the cave. We Oh, we have three goblins in the back cave, so let's see how much damage we do with the bow. Okay. And we are going to leave it, but... He has nothing? Oh, he does have a fish. We might have problems to kill the goblins now. We might have to use a scroll, which is quite harsh. But let's see if we can do it with a bow. Okay, we killed one I believe. Yep. Okay, so the bow actually is not bad now. But look how much damage. I mean how little damage we are doing. We have an arrow. Okay, we pick their heavy branches. What's up with the arrow? We Okay, we got cold. So what happens? Oh no. Did we drop it? Yep, arrow dropped. So we have to pay attention with the arrows. I don't know, this seems to be a bug. How are we going to do? the little guys here one by one we can do them he alerted us longer than the others yeah first take a hit and then run but we managed to kill him 
So one on one is not a big problem, I see. Yep, we manage it. So many skulls. How did they manage the little guys to, to kill that many people? I want to get the names of the scrolls that we pick up. Have to look into the settings probably how we can manage that. So here we are going to get a couple wolves. Not falling down yet. And we have to be careful with the with the boars. They can aggro us and the lizard can fall down from up there, from the plateau. I read that many people didn't actually find that plateau up there with the lizards and the hidden necklace that spawns Oh, I hear it. There's a necklace that spawns according to your guild in the second chapter. The best one is for the for the militia guys. Wow, we see nothing. Because the one for, for the militia... Did I hear something? No, it was us. So we are going to eat the apples and increase our strength. We need a frying pan to to get the meat, the fried meat. Okay, so as I was saying, the militia gets plus 10 dexterity, but we are going to go mercenary. Here is another wolf, right? Yep. There are actually two. Did they increase the number of monsters? He is dodging the little guy. Here somewhere is also a leather, leather satchel, we got it. Show us what you got little guy. What's up guy? Wolfy wolfy. Oh, ah, we are level 2, far away from leveling up. I hope Lester is not going to to kill our monsters. There is one wolf in the back that's fighting with a rat. Why is he dodging? I hate this kind of hit over the head. Butterfly? Yeah, he killed uh, the rat. We have to have patience by killing the monsters, otherwise we are going to take so much damage as you can see. What about the bee? Where is it? Butterfly? Bloodfly, sorry. Quite smart move. We are going to save because I don't know when we saved last time. Okay, you can hang in there. 5 gold, 10 gold. So we lost a young rat, but that's okay. So here should be some plants that we can pick up from Lester, but hard to find in this new vegetation. So we have to remember Lester because he's going to give us experience for that. Is that you? Really? Man, am I glad to see you. Is he going to give us the quest even to I'm dressed up? Let's see. Lester, how did you get here? That was a crazy escape. After the barrier exploded, I wandered around the area for a while in total confusion. Then I spent days fighting my way through these woods until I finally found this valley here. Diego, Milton, and Gorn are still in the Valley of Mines. At least, I think so. I'm on my way to Corinnus. What do you know about the town? Corinnus? Well, it's a seaport. Nothing special. Why do you ask? I must go and see the paladins who are said to be in town. <laughs> really? 
Huh. They won't even let you into the town. And certainly not to where the paladins are. So he doesn't see that we wear the, the peasant class, which is okay. Do you have any suggestions how I could get into town? I certainly do. I worked for an old alchemist named Constantino some time ago. He has great influence in the city. And he's instructed the guards at the gate to let anyone through who can sell him rare herbs. So it's quite easy, really. You collect a large bunch of the plants that grow here all over the place, and then you pretend you're working for Constantino, and in you go. But don't collect a mix of this and that. The guards aren't all that bright, and they know nothing about alchemy. The bundle needs to look good to them if you want to get through. I think that ten specimens of the same kind of plant should do the trick. Thanks for the hint. And that's our best way to get into the city, with the most experience. What happened? After the sleeper was defeated, the entire brotherhood lost their minds. Without their master, they were all just empty husks. And you? What about you? It was the same for me. I had nightmares and even hallucinations. But once my head was more or less clear again, I ran for it. Once, I thought I saw a huge black shadow pounce on a group of fugitives and burn them all up in a giant cloud of fire. At that moment, I really thought a dragon had come to kill me. Did you see anything else? No. I took to my heels and ran. How long have you been hiding out in this valley? I don't know exactly. A week, maybe? But there's one more thing. When I came here in the evening, I took a look up on the mountain, and there were only a few trees there. And when I looked the next morning, that tower was there. I could have sworn it wasn't there before. Since then, I haven't left the valley. You mean Zardus's tower? I knew he was powerful, but creating a tower just like that. Zardus the necromancer? He lives in that tower? I don't know if I like that. Don't worry. He's the one who rescued me from the Sleeper's Temple. He's on our side. Yep. He's very important to us. What do you know about the area? If you keep going down that way, you'll come to a farm. The city starts a little way beyond that. But be careful. There's not just wolves and rats hanging around here. There's goblins and bandits, too. You need to tell Zardas about the shadow. It could be important. You don't think it was my imagination? You mean there really was a... Dragon, yes. You're getting into the thick of it again, am I right? I shouldn't say in the thick of it. Not yet. Well, good. If it's so important, then I'll go see him. But not now. For the moment, I'm going to rest. I'm still exhausted after the escape from the penal colony. I think you've got big plans. I'll see you later at Zardus's. You do that. We have to heal ourselves again. Thirty percent, wow. So the foods are giving us a lot of experience now. Oh and look at his health. One thousand HP. Oh that we are going to pick up. We need 10, so 10 plants of the same kind. And this is the new way to the Lobart's farm. So this got changed. Oh, healing plant. I hope from up there is nothing going to fall on us. And here are the rats. Oh. How did Oh, they give 30 experience even less. They are one hit now. And we level up. Quite hard to see things on the floor now. But luckily we have the quick loot that helps a lot. It's no fun if you play the game a couple times. Not this version, but in general. To keep picking up things over and over. Because the animation... Why did you do that? The animation is quite slow. Oh, what's that? Sarcophagus. We can interact with them. So they put here the stuffs. This is quite a nice editing and ending of the game. So what did we pick up? Healing root because we we ate it last time. The same sword. It's worth almost nothing. Yeah, so it looks like we cleared 
the valley what we can do now hopefully there are no more ja uh, enemies now oh there are two more up there and we didn't talk with not constantly with the Zuri's the mm, what's what's he doing the potion maker or the potion vendor to tell us about the the rare plan that we have to get for Constantino. We will do that later on because we will have to get to Cavalier and then to Lester again to tell him that the way to the city worked if it works and to tell Xardas that we about Lester. So we are going to collect some experience. Our goal so far is now to go to the what's his name to Greg give him the clubs and then get into the city here is also a goblin berry somewhere or it spawns once we we talk with a Zuri's guy yeah looks like it's not here so I think we are done around the city for now there was something oh this leather satchel is what we needed. I don't know if we miss anything here. I believe not. Oh, because we slept the. What's his name? What's her name? She can give us uh, one more food again. Where is she? There she is cooking. Hilda. Hey. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. So we cannot cook ourselves without a frying pan, which is quite nice. So we don't need the armor anymore. And we need no armor at all because I don't know if the guards will react or not. And I don't know about the walls, did Craig kill them or they didn't spawn yet? So we are going to try and see. Okay, we pick up. Oh, there are two more bees and the wolves in the back but I think we cannot do the wolves yet oh we have no more arrows just in time so we are we are not going to go to the wolves we we will do that once we go to to tell the the guys about the entrance Lester and Sardas and Kavala hey you come here what is it on your way to the city and really busy too listen you look like a smart guy to me i bet you'll go far in life you're certainly nobody's fool i could see that right away say you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins wouldn't you well of course oh and i just noticed we have no more arrows if the wolves spawn you don't look like someone who has gold well, I certainly don't move in the same circles as a gentleman like you. But you won't refuse my small contribution to your surely considerable fortune, will you? Well, what do you say? Can I count on you? Are you hiding from someone? Of course not. What nonsense. I just enjoy standing among the trees so the wind won't blow right into my face. What about you now? Do you want the job? Smart ass. Cut the crap. Tell me what you want. You see, that's exactly what I mean. Nobody gets anywhere with you just by using pretty words. I knew it. I'm dealing with a tough businessman here. You're a businessman and certainly interested in a small addition to your purse, aren't you? Well, of course. Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts, and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct, and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? If you pay, of course. About the city guards. Yes, got an idea. You can tell him come some couple of lines. You could get into the city and as piss a him off. gatherer. What? Do I look like I'd be picking flowers in the woods? Well, why not? I do it. 
I have a pass for the city. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to act like I'm a citizen of the town or what? Take a look at me, boy. Nobody's going to believe that. That is very true. What about bribery? Well, if that worked for me, I'd have tried it already. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I know I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? 50 measly gold coins? You can't be serious. It's still a profit. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows? Maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. So what about the wolves? Yeah, he killed them. So that's the way to get Craig inside the city. More experience. What about all stats? We will have enough for dexterity to wear the better bow and look at our money. We waste so many arrows. Oh, luckily we have some leather satchels. We also need 500 gold for the ring. Oh, and we need the sword, the, the dagger thing, the one that keeps a, uh, it's a support of oh, dexterity. What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I don't have money. So that's the best way to get into the city. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mm. Oh wow, Let's he opens the door for him. All right, in you go. Such a but princess. Don't cause any trouble. Understood. And us? Nope, nothing. Wow, thank you. There was a, a quest with Lothar also, if we get from the other side of the oh, town. stranger. I am Lothar. Paladin of the king and I thought he gave me one halt. Of Inos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't... This line sounds different than the others. That's really not my problem. I've got to go. Wait! You don't know the new laws of the city yet. Later. I never knew you that. haven't yep. even got any armor. Beat it. I do have a armor, and we are going to use it. So, really do we want anything with you? Hello, I think stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. Here we are that. going to dump all our things that we don't need. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. Don't tell me his shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. I can't believe that. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Sadly, he never has a lot of things to sh sell. Show me your wares. That's why I like to have him as a dumping. This is what we need. This we don't need. Two hands we don't need. The pickaxe we need. It's the first I've heard of it. So those things we don't need. That's all just gossip. The shield wall, only one. Where did you pick that this up? is what we are going to use. This one is not going to be needed I anymore. You completely. So the saw we need. The, the hammering keys we want to known a long time. do something. What else? What else? I hardly know what to believe. The silver ring we don't need. I'd have gone about it and it doesn't look like a lot of stuff. Oh, we have a ring. Got my own opinion about that. It doesn't do much because it's only increasing the mana. Me. Where is it? Oh, rings. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. So we are going to talk with the merchants no, here he to get their quests, and I believe in the next episode we are going to do all the quests. But for now, you. let's pick up their quests. I'm not telling you anything we new. did pick up your quest. Show me your wares. You're not here, so get going. What am I not here? Sorry. I Show me your wares. You're not here to browse through my wares. You're supposed to get me those skins. 
So get going. Oh, I didn't know about that. So we have to tell him that we got the skins. But if we do that, I don't know if we can go with a oh a paladin walking here. Where are you? A knight. If we give him the quest, I don't know if Bartok is going to go with us hunting, and we don't need to go with him hunting. What can I do for you? Give me something to do. What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor or snapper leather. Still unused. Interested? Probably expensive as hell. Hunter armor. Protection against weapon 20. Well, we can. S we will see if we can steal his. What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come them, to the city, I've the had city. nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. Yeah. It, it, there might be the weapon that we need. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? <laughs> oh man, forget it. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> line is typical here. of those beggars. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. The paladin seized your goods. Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Oh, the armor. That's what we need. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is... How important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What will cost me? What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. Everything costs a lot of money. You shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Wow, so many lines. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. One thing at a time. First fulfill your part of the deal and bring me the gold. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Howard the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. So we don't have to mess it up. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. I wish there was another that he would think Show of it. Your wares. So the ring is worth some money. We could probably sell it. 
he doesn't have anything worth leather belt that's using crafting so we got two quests out of the four masters Torban wants hey. us to pray for ah, fresh face for him. you're not from Corinus are you this is not a good time for travelers bandits everywhere no work including one in the city have risen up too what winds have blown you here Yep, we are looking, I'm looking for, work. for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? For the sake of it, yes. Yes, a most humble servant, Master Thorben. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Inos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. Well, thank you. Two more masters. You can't even afford any armor. I don't talk to weaklings. Well, don't talk with me then. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city. And then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. <laughs> nice haircut. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. You don't have to actually bring down any of the orcs. You can buy one from Cypher, you can find one outside the city. So you don't have to actually kill an orc but there is another quest that Let's we can talk start again also about that orc thing what an orc is a damn tough opponent hmm. looking at you you might be right you don't have much meat on your bones but that can change nevertheless you have to prove to me that you have the courage to fight so couldn't it be something slightly smaller mm -hmm. Hakon, the weapons dealer in the marketplace, told me that he was attacked by bandits a few days ago. The bastards are said to be roaming around somewhere outside the East Gate. Those cowardly rogues shouldn't be terribly bright. Hunt the bastards down. Every single one of them. Then I'll know that we can use you here in the city. So actually this is harder, this quest. With the bandits. And we have to remember when we go to the Hakon. To not tell him we do it for Harrod, otherwise he's not going to give us anything. So the last what do you want? master getting anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you gonna sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. But I want to sign with you. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. 
Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. Going to do that. What do Show you have to say? Wares. Because we are going to go with a mercenary, we could actually sign up with Constantino and sell him all the plants. I mean, not all the mushrooms, because here they are not going to increase our mana automatically. We have to learn a recipe and some other things. So we are going to go to Lares, learn the dexterity, equip the bow, and then we'll make a cut. We will have to look for a vendor to sell us some arrows, and then we will go to Vatras and the merchants. And then we will see exactly what, what we are going to do after that. So hey. let's learn first the dexterity. Teach me something. I don't get You've it why it's taking so much dexterous. learn points now. So we got a better bow. The damage increase, but oh, I like the bow. It's so much bigger. From 30? Is it 30? So hard to read. From 30 to 50, that's a lot of damage now. We might one shot now the young wolves and goblins and stuff. So, we are going to make a cut. We are going to go to Vatras and then do the quests and explore the Koreanis in the next episode. So, thank you very much, guys, for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.